Right now, we need to take a listen. Well, uh, we are back at the intersection of Baxter and Mercer Roads. We just wrapped up an interview with KPD spokesperson Daryl DeBusk, who did tell us that there were three males and three females that were apprehended from a home off of West Baxter Avenue. Now, they say they are confident that they know that this one, at least one of those individuals, was responsible for the robbery in downtown Knoxville earlier this morning. Now, he did tell us that there, they did evacuate homes as precautionary reasons around this area due to the fact that they did not know if any of those suspects were armed. Now, now, Daryl did tell us that when they arrived on scene, there was a male and a female in the backyard of the residence, and they were unsure of whether they had anything to do with it. But they took them into custody for questioning. Later on, two more males and two more females around 11:45 came out of that residence, and now they are all taken into custody. They've been taken back for questioning. So Daryl said there will be a lot more information that will be coming out within the next couple of hours on what happened here. We do know that um, we had two elementary schools, which was Belmont and Maynard Elementary School that were on lockdown because of this. And as I said earlier, we had several homes in the area that had to be evacuated for precautionary reasons in case there was a weapon involved. We do know that they came out of the house and there was no weapon that um, Daryl DeBus did speak of. Now, everybody has been cleared to go back into their homes. They said there is no reason for anyone in this area to feel unsafe. We will bring you more information as we continue to learn it. Back to you in the studio. WBIR 10 News reporter Kelsey Pape is live on the UT campus with the story of two students who will remember that spot forever. Kelsey. That's right, Robin and John. The Rock serves as a communication hub for students, and it changes by occasion. You'll see hellos and goodbyes. You'll see uh, sports smack talk. You'll see birthday wishes. You'll see political advertisements. And as you're about to see, you'll even see marriage proposals. UT has its fair share of traditions. The color orange, the hill, Smokey the blue tick hound, and the torchbearer. But nothing is quite as big, literally, as this 98 ton rock. It's just a way for people to represent themselves and get any kind of message out there. Everybody sees it. You, I mean, sometimes people will make a point to walk by if they know something special is on it. The rock has been on campus since the 1960s and has served as a student canvas. For Clinton Hill and Sarah Kinsler, it's much more than that. So we've been together for almost five years and we've known each other since we were kids. So just kind of how it happened. I didn't really prefer it one way or another, but it just kind of happened big and everyone saw it. Hill had several of their friends paint the rock while he took Sarah to lunch. She wasn't expecting it at all. I kind of felt like something strange was happening, but I didn't really know what was going on. And then when I saw it, I just started bawling my eyes out and he made me turn around and he was like,